everyone, I thought I would show you today what I got my seven-year-old for Christmas this year. Um, yesterday, I uploaded my what I got my 10-year-old for Christmas. Um, and pretty much, I focus on getting the same number of things for them. They're mostly equal, but like, I don't get it down to the dollar like my mom did when I was a kid. Like, you know, some of them got things that were bought secondhand, some of them didn't. Um, some of them had one item that was you know, similar to the other person's item, but more expensive and vice versa. And anyway, uh, let me show you what I got him. Um, at our house, Santa brings one, either one larger joint gift for the kids or just one item for each of them. And we don't wrap those. Um, Santa uses this bag every year. It's just a cloth bag that has their names on it. Um, and yeah, so that is what he will do this year. And for my seven-year-old this year, this was a Lego set that he asked for that he really wanted. And if you watched my daughter's video, she got one that was kind of similar in size and price to this. Um, so this is his um, gift from Santa. And then also we noticed that we were really in need of just some more basic uh, Lego blocks for like free building. So this, um, Santa is also going to give this to them in that bag. This is for them to share though. So that is what is coming, um, from Santa. And where should I start? Um, all right. This I got, I think on Prime Day. And this is something he, my daughter got a Panda one for Christmas last year. And he has asked for this probably weekly since then. He wants his own. So I got this on Prime Day for a really good uh, price, and he is going to be super, super excited. I tried to really focus, well, I think every year I try to really focus on things my kids really, really um, have shown a longer term interest in, or um, I like to get them things that kind of encourage a talent or a skill or an interest that they have, or that can help nurture that in some way. So anyway, this is something he's been asking for for almost an entire year, so he's getting that. Um, he, we joked that we should have named him Zach because, um, he is a Lego maniac. Am I showing my age with that? Do you know that commercial? Anyway, um, we got both our kids this actually. This is a little, um, like on the go sorting case for Legos. It was from the Target dollar spot. Um, it was $3 and then we ordered them each a couple packs of these extra Lego pieces. Um, we got my daughter too as well. Hers are different, um, but his has the traffic lights and garbage can, wheelbarrow, that kind of stuff. And then this one, which is a shark and looks like swim fins and some little treasure box and shells and stuff like that. So um, I will kind of have to fold these down to fit in here because this is like um, divided inside. That's all right. Once he gets them, he'll just open them up probably. And open them. So he has that. All right. Um, both my kids have been asking for a while for robots. And my son has um, one we got. I forget its name, but we got it from Lakeshore Learning a couple of years ago. It's a gear bot, and he loves it. He still plays with it. Um, and he also has Artie. Is it Artie? The art robot? Anyway, the coding robot that does art. He got that last year. Um, anyway, we got, I found these spy bots. Um, I think these were on clearance. I want to say Walmart. Um, my daughter got one too. And his, let's see, his is called trip. Oh yeah. It's like a little tripwire robot. I think you like set it by your door and it makes like a laser tripwire line. And if someone crosses it, the robot will like sound an alarm and chase them down. It's going to be awesome um, if it works. And I mean that with all the sarcasm I can muster. Um, but hopefully it works and he likes it. Um, so I think he'll be excited about that. All right. Um, I got both of my kids a book and his I got the Boxcar Children Guide to Adventure, a how-to for mystery solving and make-it-yourself projects and more. I had bought this quite a while ago. I was just going to have it um, on our bookshelf for both my kids. And then I decided to set it aside and this seems like a good fit for him right now. He really likes the boxcar children. So, um, I think he will enjoy that. Uh, right.
right, both of my kids got like some kind of, you know, craft kit or something in his. Um, I got this Lego make your own movie set. My daughter got this a couple years ago for either Christmas or her birthday. And he, she's not real good about sharing it. And he really wants to make his own movie. He literally asks, you know, every month if, when he can make his movie. And she, like I said, she doesn't want to share. So I, we got him his own. And he's going to be super excited. It's not exactly a craft, but it's something he can make. So that kind of fit the bill for that. This was a toy that he really, really wanted and asked for. And it is this Star Wars Squadron Millennium Falcon motion activated lights and sounds. Awesome. Again, look how little those pieces are. They're going to hurt when I step on them. Um, but this was something he really wanted. So he is going to be excited to get that. Um, this is something that I picked up on... Um, I think this was Prime Day also. And this is Snap Circuit's brick, stru brick structures. And it supposedly will work with Legos. And you can build and like light up your structures with it. He's very into kind of building things. And I think this is just right up his alley. I think it looks really cool. He loves Snap Circuits. Um, so I thought this would be kind of a nice thing for him to do. All right, I also, um, my daughter got Minecraft figures. He uh, got Pokemon figures. He is not as into Minecraft as she is. They're both very into Pokemon, so hopefully they don't fight over these. But um, anyway, we got these for him. And then we got two games. He loves and is obsessed with dogs. And um, this is the Game of Life, A Day at the Dog Park. And this was, I had a friend who has an eBay store and she had a couple of brand new games in the package one was cats one was dogs um so i picked this one up for him and i think that he will love that and then also i'm really excited about this one this is from mindware and it is called rock paper switch capture your way to victory and he loves chess he's very obsessed with chess and this is kind of um it seems like it has some chess-like um, components to it and it is like a little bit of a twist of rock paper scissors um yeah it says in this twist on the classic game of rock paper scissors it takes more than luck to overpower your opponents strategy is key as you move your rock paper and scissor pawns be the last player with at least one of each pawn and you win the game so i think this is something he'll really like we've never played it but um it sounded really good so that is his second game. Both my kids got two games. Okay, this is kind of like his big, um, his interest that I want to encourage, but I also want to stop stepping on Legos. Um, as I said, he's obsessed with Legos. He plays with them every single day, and they are always all over his bedroom floor, and it's a constant battle. Um, I looked at Lego tables, but most of like the Lego tables were either, I don't know, they were like more of a little kid height. Like if they had chairs, they were like the smaller chair. Um, we don't really have room for a big table. I thought I could make my own, but he doesn't have room in his room for a big table. Um, anyway, so I found this and I'm super excited because it's gonna be kind of hard to show, but he can sit on his floor in his room and work with this. It's got two snap-on bags. There's um, snaps on this side and there are snaps on the other side that I guess you can store Legos in here. I don't know if you will. This is the company where I ordered it from, El Toro Creative. And it was free shipping and I think it was about $90. Um, but so it has the Lego um, building plates there. It's got a handle on this side. It has another set of snaps on the other side and it has a clip here. I'm not sure what that clip is for, but um, what I love about this is that the legs fold down and he can slide this under his bed. I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand. Oh, maybe I can. There we go. So the legs fold under it, he can slide it under his bed, but he can keep all his stuff out on it. So I'm super excited about this. I hope he loves it um, as much as I do. All right, so I think that's everything that we got um, him for Christmas. And if you have any questions, let me know down below. I will also be uploading uh, a stocking stuffers video. We have all of the stocking stuffers 
um, well, we have way too many, I'm sure. I've got to sort through. Um, we probably have too many, um, but that video will be coming as well. So if you have any questions, let me know down below.